Hey everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here, and we're back doing a best 2 out of 3 M21 draft. Alright, draft has fired, and open yet another Teferi? Jeez, what else is in here? Riddle form, is it spells staple? One of the better cards you can get for that deck. Tide skimmer. Good card for Blue White Skies. Kinetic Augur, another good is it spell. The Augur in the riddle form should be a good sealed uh, pack. Defiant Strike, uh, kind of playable in the Boros Spells deck that I've jammed a couple times. Um, Battalion, good Selesnia Counters card. We've got Shock. Larcenist, good with Evasion for any blue deck. Revitalize, black, white, um, life gain deck, same with gift, and that covers just about everything. Follow up pick. All right. This pack is quite a bit weaker. Quite a bit weaker. What is my favorite card here? It might actually be finishing blow, which rarely happens. I feel like because I don't really like finishing blow that much. I think it's kind of expensive removal. Um, but this pack is really lacking in good cards. Otherwise, we're looking at like Gale Swooper or Spined Megalodon. I actually like Gloom Sower. But yeah, this, this pack is pretty underwhelming. I think finishing blow is actually... <laughs> The best card here. This is like the first finishing blow I've taken in a long time. Because it seems like there's always something stronger. But we'll take it. Alright, here I love Palladium Mirror. It's a great card. There's also Lano or Visionary, which I like a lot. But Palladium Mirror you can play everywhere. So I think we take it. I mean, it's also just remarkably strong. If it does not die, being able to... Play a six drop on turn three, two three drops on turn or on turn four rather. Six drop on turn four, two three drops on turn four. It's really strong. Very good. Other notable cards here, yeah, the visionary, of course. Just for any green deck, you're happy to have it. Doesn't even matter if you're super rampy. Just getting a bear that can add some mana and is a two-two. Draws a card. That's just good. And Sanguine Indulgence, playable in the Black White Life Gain. Glide Master, like marginally playable. Pitchburn Devil's actually a good card for Rakdos Sack. Chorister is good, but we're, we'll take the Mirror. Alright, Peer into the Abyss. Well, <clears throat> if we get a Teferi's Tutelage, it's a two card kill combo, which I think is actually very good. Otherwise, Burlfist Oak, I haven't played this card. I've played against it. I do think it's actually, it's not bad. Read the Tides. Playable, not great. Another Pitchburn Devils in here. I think we'll, because this pack is kind of devoid of anything super exciting, we'll take the Pier, and if we get the Tutelage, it'd be cool to make that work. Also, Teferi would be great with Teferi's Tutelage, so... See if we can make that work. All right, the pick now. Well, Gloom Sower does get better with Palladium Mirror. Can take the cancel. It's kind of an un unexciting pack too. We've got Witch's Cauldron, kind of made for uh, Rakdos Sack. Heroic Intervention is certainly a playable green card. Turn to Slag, playable in red. Just a few kind of playable cards in here, but nothing to write home about. It feels early to take the Gloom Sower, but this pack is just light and good stuff. I mean, it is nice that Cauldron can kind of make your stuff anti-removal. I think we take Cauldron anyway, even though this, we're not really starting on the right, uh, the right direction for Witch's Cauldron. It just feels too early to take a Gloom Sower. Alright, Sanctum of Stone Fangs is actually just a legitimately good card. And we kind of don't know what our second uh, color is yet. I don't know if we're going to be able to play this Teferi or not. We're still sort of 
figuring out where we are where we're at can take the larcenist. I do think Sanctum is actually quite good. And we might even wheel some shrines. Maybe this is a good... Maybe we're supposed to make the shrine deck here. I'm, I'm not really feeling pulled into anything here. Alright, Carrion Grub is quite good. We currently don't have any good creatures for it, but... This pack is also devoid of anything good outside of Carrion Grub, I feel like, so this could just be a time possibly to do Demir Res, um, which I tried once and it did not work out well for me, but all right, well, Leafkin Avenger, eighth pick, it's far and away the strongest card in here, but we are quite a ways away from it. Otherwise, we're taking a Glide Master. It's just this, it's a two drop. It's just not very exciting. And there's nothing else in here that excites me. I'm actually going to take the Avenger. I don't think it's it's too late to completely beeline a different direction if we have to, or maybe even splashing the Avenger does seem quite weird. Uh, here, I guess we take Larcenist. There is a Revitalize in here. Black-White Life Gain is still an option, but we haven't gotten any of the big payoffs for it. Alright, Rise Again is in here. Rise Again and Carrying Grub. Demir, Rez. Or, it doesn't have to be Demir either, I guess. There's another Gloom Sower, but... I think we'll take the Rise first. Although Gloom Sower with Carrion Grub is pretty sweet. Actually, maybe I do take the Sower here. Alright, we did get the Green Sanctum. I think we take it. We already have the Black Sanctum. And Green Sanctum lets you play the other shrines. Um, it could be Rock is the direction we're, we're seeing some late green granted none of it is exciting but um i guess you take a walking corpse i, I can take run afoul for sideboard i mean i don't want to play walking corpse so i guess we'll take the run afoul. all right we got the gloom sower oh, now we have two so maybe i should have taken the rise again it's okay it's not a big deal the rest for sideboard all right Hooded Blight Fang. Well, it's a good open because it's a great card. Otherwise, guys are good in any red deck. Lore Scale Quaddle. I never have gotten to play this card, but it's very good. It grows very fast. Still probably early enough to try and get on an, in on a uh, frantic inventory plan. But, yeah, we'll, we'll take the Blight Fang. Very good black rare. Yeah, this deck is something. And then we're past Baneslayer Angel. Well, yeah. So, black white life gain it is. <laughs> I, I rarely play that archetype, so. Uh, I would say, considering we're looking for a second color to go into, I, I think we just found it. And we actually have some okay tools for black white life gain. Cauldron, which admittedly is not great, but a fine plan for it. Probably taking swift response here. We have Sanctum uh, and Blight Fang. So we have a few ways to gain life. And so or sower rather. Alright, let's let's just we're gonna just go ahead and try and make this work. I'm still considering splashing sanctum. Um, I'm going to take Swift Response here. Other notable picks. Another riddle form for the Is It spells. Watcher, Cultivate. Good uncommons. Three really solid uncommons. Uh, Crypt Lurker is actually playable in a res deck as well. 
Now we definitely want Rise again though with Bane Slayer. But let's take Swift Response. Alright, we can take the take a third sanctum. <laughs> Otherwise, what else are we taking? Fungal Rebirth is actually kind of cool if we can. I don't know if I can comfortably go three color here. I mean, it's an okay opportunity to play shrines, believe it or not. The green one does help you power out some I don't think Pyrrhonity Abyss is happening. Um, power out some stuff. Otherwise, we just take Deathbloom Thalad. Just because it's good with Cauldron, you, it, it can block and trade well. We probably take the safe bet here in Deathbloom Thalad. As fun as shrines are. So we can take Chorister. I'm actually, I don't love Pestilent Haze. We do have an okay deck for it, so I could see taking it. There are some matches where it's going to be quite good. I guess we take it, and we're passing a Chorister, which I would like too, but I think we just take the responsible pick and just take Pestle and Haze. I've just found there's too many three toughness things doesn't do as good as I want it to so there's a sky scanner there's a judgment watchdog we probably just take a sky scanner random flyer good with cauldron and it's a cantrip battlements I don't think this is a great deck for it I can block but I'd rather have the evasion with cantrip another one there's radiant fountain I mean currently in black white life gain without any actual black white life gain payoffs we do have life gain we just don't have any actual payoffs we could take a radiant fountain Pretty color intensive, although I don't think I don't think Peer into the Abyss is likely to make the deck. Uh, I guess I'll take a fountain. Just in case we get some black payoffs here. I personally love Freebooter. There's another Grub in here too. Um, and Grub is actually looking quite good with Gloom Cellar. <laughs> Eight five for four mana. That's pretty good, actually. But I'm going to take the Freebooter anyway. It's just, you can't go wrong with seeing what your opponent has and potentially just eating a removal spell. It, it really does completely change game outcomes. As cute as Carrion Grub is with double Gloom Sower. So we can take Steed. I think I'll take Secure the Scene for Sideboard. I don't really like the card, but there are some emergency situations where you might want it. Enforcer. I mean, we do have a Sky Scanner. We have an Angel. We have a Freebooter. Okay. Might find some more along the way. 2 3 is good in a Pestilent Haze deck. Alright, we'll take the Mutt. I think it's more of a sideboard card. Maybe it makes the deck. I don't know. Uh, Cove. For Splash. I don't think so. Do we already have two fountains? I'll take another one. Sanctum. We already have one and we're probably not playing it. There, take the another duress. I guess battlements can block. And we have a eh, it's fine. Speaker. Well, it's a good uh good payoff card. Makes those Radiant Fountains a lot better. Yeah, makes sense. Take Speaker. Um, another Pestilent Haze in here. Charger is always playable in white. Swooper would be fine. Dalad would be welcome. 
sky scanner was fine now with battlements too but we'll take the speaker another palladium mirror i think we want this like more than anything there is teferi's tutelage but we're off that plan now um but yeah we have a lot of expensive stuff in here we really need those palladium mirrors So we can take the indulgence. There's tavern swindler. Indulgence makes a lot of sense. You want to be able to get Bane Slayer back if it's like resolve a Bane Slayer. Okay, you dealt with it. I got her right back. Yeah. This is the right deck for it. Um and I don't need to bank on wheeling it, so I'll just take it. So we basically have a survive as long as you can deck, and if you can survive, you've got some massive upside in eight sixes and Bane Slayer Angel. Another riddle form. Well, somebody's getting a lot of riddle forms. We don't need any of this. Not a single card. We'll take Defiant Strike. It's not going to make the deck. I've already got Mind Rot. Uh, another Gloom Sower. It's too many. Three is too many. I don't need a Steward either, but I'll take it. I don't want to play it though. Alright, here we're taking Rise again. We've got double Gloom Sower. Um, and Bane Slayer, so we want to bring them back if they die. Hmm, so we can actually take Thieves Guild and force her, but I guess Rebooter's not a rogue, unfortunately. Yeah. I don't know if we're milling our opponent. You can take Light of Promise. It's a powerful effect. <laughs> it's pretty cool with Bane Slayer. Uh, it's cool with it's cool with certain cards. We don't need anything else in here. Yeah, I mean it's cool with Speaker too. I guess if you can get some attacks in. Um, do I just take another Fountain? I don't think we need a cage zombie. All right. We're we're starting to get too many fountains, I think, but they're really good with speaker. All right, here we take swooper. That makes the deck. Another battlements. How many we already are good on five drops. I don't know if we need another steed. All right. All the fountains. Uh, whatever. Archonist is actually just good. Well, we ended up with enough playables, but I'm not in love with our deck. I'm not gonna lie, and that's saying a lot because we have Bane Slayer Angel. <laughs> but I'm not in love with this deck. We clearly need to play 17 lands. Guess we can cut a creature. How many flyers do we have for enforcers? We have Freebooter, Sky Scanner. It's two, three, four. It's not many, but considering we're removal light, I'm considering it. I really don't like the Pestle and Haze in here with the Palladium Mirrors, but it's an emergency card. I actually don't want to cut the Light of Promise with the four Radiant Fountains. 
And I kind of want to play them all with speaker too. You can get that. You can get that seven life. You can get there. Start spitting out four four angels. Four is a lot of fountains though. I'm probably still going for it, as crazy as that sounds. Hmm. Could be a battlements. Although I like it with speaker. Thalid's kind of important. Skyscanner's kind of important. Could be the Enforcer. Alright. Or maybe it is. Maybe we actually do keep the Enforcer and dump one battlement. I guess that makes sense. There's times where we're going to want to be able to tap something down and have just a two power creature. Two, three is important. Um, eight and twelve. So, a little bit color intensive. <laughs> I wish we didn't have any double color stuff. It would make playing four Radiant Fountains so much more tolerable. Or any sort of fixing it would have made it so much better too. Eight and twelve. So if I play four of these, that leaves me 13 lands, <laughs> 13 colored lands. How badly do I need four Radiant Fountains? I mean, it's, it's actually sweet with Light of Promise. You, you play Light of Promise, play a Radiant Fountain, immediately get plus two, plus two. On like a speaker, that's actually, that's really good. This card can take games over. Good with Sanctum, fine with Cauldron, obviously amazing with Baneslayer, but Baneslayer doesn't need help, it's win more. It's good with Gloomsower too though. It's good with Blightfang. <sighs> Do I just try it for Radiant Fountains? Let's see what we can do. If I play four Radiant Fountains, we do one extra black mana. <laughs> I think we'll do We'll try three. That's as much as I'm willing to do. <laughs> Just because I like it with speaker. I like it with light of promise. Maybe if that's it, it's not good enough. Hmm. This is tough. It's legitimately tough. I just feel like there's nothing. Hmm. This is tough. All right, we'll we'll try it. Might be a little risky with three radiant fountains, but we'll see if we can make it work. All right, we'll see you around one. Eesh. It's an ugly opener. I think we're going to mulligan. I don't know if I can just ride a Sanctum to, uh, to victory here. This one will keep. At least Pestilent Haze looks actually kind of good in this hand. <clears throat> I guess we can dump a Swamp. We already have two. Might as well keep the Fountain for the Light of Promise.
Oof. That's why Prebooter's so good. That's good news. That is good news. I could have waited until they attacked again. Um, because now they, the, yeah, I, I guess I should have waited. Because now they don't want to play more onto that board. Which might be fine. I might still be able to wait. I know we have later promise in hand, but wish I could do something with indulgence. Um. All right, I think we just trade a haze for a uh, daybreak charger. If they if they didn't know we had it, it would be better. Them having the mass black guard makes it quite a bit worse. Oof! 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 So ugly. Oof. It keeps getting worse for us. So we have to jump or we die next turn. Because this can pump. Alright. Trying to think what I'm going to do here. So Pestilent Haze is amazing in this matchup, but they know we have it now and we didn't get any good value out of it. I could have just taken three for a few turns, I guess, but I don't see that being that good. So, we do have to lower the curve here pretty dramatically, I think. They seem to be all in. We haven't seen a single removal spell. It's just been all creatures. So, we might be able to dump. Um, might be able to dump some of our, our top end here. Like, we can bring in another Battlements to block. We can... Is that all we can do? You. What a night... <clears throat> what a nightmare. Yeah. Basically, we need creatures that we don't have. Okay. Uh, maybe cut the rise again. Maybe cut the indulgence. Cut the rise again, I guess.
you just like can't do anything. Duress doesn't do anything. Mind Rot's too slow. Steward doesn't block anything. We don't have a sideboard here. We have one more battlements for blockers, and that's it. Yeah, that freebooter. Oh my god. This is this is what I'm talking about. That's why Freebooter is such a good card. It completely destroyed us there. We lost the game because of Kitesail Freebooter. So we'll do the ballad first and trade with the watchdog. Right. So they do in fact have removal, <laughs> just fine. We'll do uh, battlements here. I guess we can do sky scanner. I don't know. Battlements can block the uh, you know, battlements can block the watchdog, and this can trade with the chorister. Alright. Do the sky scanner. Alright, that's good. That's really good. So, we're going to block and then... We'll just sack the uh, this so they don't gain any life. Alright. Um Yeah, we wanna wipe their board here. Let's just take our three for one and be happy. We could try and set up more, but I'm not going to. Um, actually, I think we do play the Radiant Fountain. Um, the main reason is because, well, because we have s seven drops in our deck. But, yeah, actually, I guess it makes sense to wait. Yeah. So do the blight thing. And pass. Sure. Take it. Alright. Alright, that's cool. So we can, they're out of cards in hand? That's good. That's really good. Let's, uh... Gale Swooper, 
That's good too. Right. I'm feeling good about this one. So, oh, we can even get rid of Dub. That's pretty cool. Let's, uh, So, I guess Pestilent Haze has never looked better. This is like... This is what I've dreamed... This is what I've had dreams about at night when playing Pestilent Haze. And then every time in reality when I play it, my opponent's deck is just X3 creatures. So, this is like an opportunity with Pestilent Haze I've never actually had before in this format. So, it's pretty refreshing. But... Uh, but yeah, the Freebooter still really is going to be traumatic here. I wish we could do something else. Sideboard-wise, we just can't. So, we'll run it back. Yeah, it's keep. Well, if we can resolve an angel, I'm feeling good. I forgot we had Big Slayer Angel. No two drop? I don't think we've ever had better news than that. Let's see what our opponent's doing. Get rid of that stupid grasp. Palladium mirror is nice. Um, yeah. I think we just jam it. They're not going to be able to deal with Bane Slayer. Turn 4 Bane Slayer better be good enough. No. They just randomly rip that. Alright. So they have Grasp now, but... Actually, Grasp doesn't even... It's pretty cool, actually. So they have Grasp. Does not deal bit with Bane Slayer. Uh, I'll take that. So, can play the Mutt to block the shield mate. that makes sense. Seven mana. Best full use of mana would be Battlements plus Swooper. We're also gaining six life here. Yeah, I think we just... This puts a nice roadblock down though. But I think we we just go for the well. We could actually attack with Bane Slayer Indulgence, getting back the Freebooter to steal the Grasp. That's pretty good. Let's do Battlements first. Attack with Bane Slayer.
can do the indulgence then we can't cast the freebooter, so let's just do Swooper. Doesn't matter. Um, they can tap three to kill our battlements, but then they can't cast Grasp. Um, unless they ripped a swamp. Huh. Yeah, we need to get that grasp out of their hand. I think we block like this. And, well, I kind of want the battlements, though. Alright, we'll do this. And block here. Alright, so now they have Grasp up. But we can get our two creatures back. Yeah. Alright, if we just go like this. This puts them in a tough spot. They basically have to kill something. Yeah. Grasp the Freebooter. They have another Grasp. Kidding me. Alright. Well, the nice thing is, um, I feel like Grasp doesn't actually do that much. Yeah, against Bane Slayer. Huh. Alright, another battlement. Yeah. Well, that's cool. So two, three, battlements. And super. Doesn't matter. Game for seven. Um, just can block like that. So they can double block the Bane Slayer, which is a problem. Oh, there, that's a solid draw. Uh, they can't even cast with Grasp now, is that right? Jeez. All right.
pretty happy to get the victory there. They're hyper aggro. We're like weirdo black white. I think I'm going to bring in that other battlements. At least main deck. It, it, it did too much for me. So we'll cut the rise again, again. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. All right, round two, it's a keep. <laughs> Carrying Grub is kind of funny in this deck with all the one and zero power creatures we have. Siege Striker's so good. Such a strong card. Just so insanely powerful with uh, Watchdog. Just keeps, <laughs> just, just keeps casting creatures. Just non stop casting creatures. Alright, well, take a it would take eight, but it could have been ten on turn four. Just unbelievably strong and fast. All right. whole hand is just creatures. So if I indulgence our crab, our grub rather becomes zero power. We're gonna take four from the gaggle master. <sighs> Wish I could actually do something here. I guess we. Uh, Gonna actually indulgence. Get the angel. Gotta get a free bear. Now, granted, it lowers this thing, but I don't know if it even matters at this point. Because we have to chump anyway. Basically, we need Bane Slayer to survive, is what it comes down to. I mean, they went turn to creature, into creature, into creature, creature, into creature. It's a pretty quick start. So silly. You know you're in bad shape when turn six Bane Slayer and Limited's not good enough. I guess I was supposed to actually play the the Radiant Fountain here. But considering we have the chump block with a, a Bane Slayer, I think we're we're numbered here.
Yeah, so I should have played the should play the Radiant Fountain. I think it would have bought me one more turn. I don't know what I was thinking. I mean, it would have bought me a turn, but I don't know how I would have gotten out of this situation. Why didn't he just... It's weird. Didn't even have to do that. It's funny. Uh, I mean, I guess it made sense. I was going to say, couldn't he have just attacked with that and then tapped everything? But I guess if you have more combat tricks, then it's fine. So... Bane Slayer not good enough. Uh, Pestilent Haze at this point is not even good enough. Uh, we don't need to show them anything more. We're super dead, right? Yeah. So, hyper aggro, we have Pestle and Haze, it's going to have to be good enough. I don't want to bring in Duress against one Invigorating Surge. Alright, definitely want to play first. Keep this. The Haze at least looks good. Alright, that was a good draw. Um, play the battlements. take our I'm gonna take our two for one and be happy enough with that well I mean we could actually wait like I could just throw a gale swooper out there randomly it feels like diminishing returns doing that I'm just gonna kill their board Like, it's not bad, it's just, it does not feel good enough. Immediately add the other one. Right. So, we'll get the mirror so we can get the Gloom Sower online. Just, just play the same exact two cards, okay. Do we have time to see what they're doing first? In case they have removal? I mean, possibly. Can also jam a swooper. Alright, let's 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 do that. I mean, if they have like Fates Fetters or something, I want to know about it. And a feat. And they have the Acolyte, too. So their, their Double Striker is going to get just ginormously big. I'm trying to think what's going to win them the game. I guess they're going to go Acolyte. I mean, they're a land away from just going Acolyte Surge.
All right. I think we take out the surge. I actually don't know if that's right. Take six here. So they're leaving up feet of resistance, I guess, to protect their guy. But I don't know if we really care about that anyway. Let's just jam the sower here. Um, you're going to be able to play Acolyte plus feet. Next turn, play Acolyte. Maybe we just attack with the Swooper here. So we can, we can chump. All right. Still have the feet. So we have to chump the seed striker, I think. I guess this time the surge wouldn't have helped them as much. I can give them surge back here. It's kind of a tough spot. I think that we just chump here. That's at least another chump blocker. So I can do the Light of Promise on the Swooper. It's going to become 5 4. Forces him to block and play feet. Alright. So we go light on swooper. We go land. We can go. Get in with these two. The block there takes seven. Wait, can we attack with everything? So they can give the they can feet there. They have to block here. Then they can feet. They're gonna gain three, so I guess not. I think we just do these two. 
I don't think I quite have lethal because of feet. Oh wait, did I have lethal? All right, we'll play the salad. I might have had lethal there. It might have been a mistake. I forgot about the block immediately pump. Attack with everything. So they could have feeded to keep their guy alive. They, they would have... I think... Yeah, they would have died. They would have just died. Thankfully it didn't matter. But that was close. I guess duress is looking better. They have feet. They have surge. But is that it? Definitely don't like secure here. <laughs> I don't feel secure with secure the scene. All right. I mean, we have removal for siege striker, but that's that's tough. Hands not particularly good, but this is like a dead card in her hand. I think I'm gonna maul. All right, this hand on the other hand, really good. So I guess we'll turn one planes. That was a good draw. Glorious hands in there too. That deck is so good. That deck is so good. Let's see if we can Lux hack our way into a uh, Bane Slayer Angel here. All right. Well, glad to see Deathbloom Thalad doing its job. They're gonna just jam an accolade here, aren't they? Yeah. Just, just so ungodly powerful. No attacks. I don't know why. Oh, because they want to put counters. That makes sense. This uh, I don't know. We're so dead. How crazy is that? Or we're just we're just so dead. <laughs> He didn't even, I like he didn't even, I don't even need to use my Tempered Veteran. You know what? I'm not even going to use my Tempered Veteran. What do you think of that? And then of course they, they play the Savior, so can't do anything there. How much am I taking? Seven. They're going to pump. So 6 plus 7, 13, 17. I guess we're technically not dead. Yeah. I mean, I 
Guess we want to use finishing blow on their turn. I mean, they could have feet now, so I don't know if it matters. It, I mean, it doesn't matter if they have feet now or later. They, they're going to be able to make it indestructible, so... Why aren't they attacking with selfless sit here? It's weird. Like I said, it doesn't it doesn't matter. It's it's better to do it on their turn. Or at least it uses their mana. And they have swift response. Is there anything they don't have this game? Just out of curiosity, is there anything they don't have this game? Alright, we'll see in round three. Alright, round three. It's a good keep. Rebooter. One love. I think we'll just... Get the Sanctum going first. And next turn we can do Freebooter plus Speaker. Alright. Let's do the Freebooter first. What do we got? Go ahead and kill it. It doesn't matter. It's its whole purpose is to die and eat your removal out of your hand. Perfectly fine. I still get to see your hand. Just <laughs> oh. Oh, I see. I'm fine with the grasp of that too, I guess. Well, this is a match where Rise Again, I think, looks better than Warded Battlements. I mean, it's a, it's a good trade for us, I think. So... I think we do Sky Scanner. Ballad's good. Can Swift Response, they're Glutton, so that's good too. Actually, play the the um, Dalad. Because now they're gonna want to use finishing blow on Dalad, and then we can still swift response to Glutton. Kill that. Play the battlements and start just beating. Well, uh, I guess we can bash here. It's fine. So good trade for us. I mean at this point they almost want to kill the warded battle ones, I think. Alright, 
so he used the finishing blow on the sky scanner which I guess does actually make sense it was my one evasive creature it turns on my celestial enforcer but they're still in some trouble here I guess we can hold off on radiant fountain well I don't know. Maybe it doesn't matter hmm Furious Rise on the empty board. Uh, uh, so I guess we just, you know, jam a, jam a casual Bane Slayer Angel. Alright. What do we want to do for sideboard? They have a ton of removal, so I do think Rise Again is looking good. We don't want to lower our creature count though. Cauldron looks really good against the removal. Maybe Pestle and Haze. We saw a Hobble Fiend, but... I think we just run creatures out at them. Actually, Duress looks good too. Yeah, let's get rid of the Light of Promise. That, that plan is fine and dandy, but... I think we need it. Probably duress. I'm still okay with radiant fountains. I mean, they make the speaker better. I could see cutting one now that we've dumped the light of promise. Do I want double duress? I kind of do. What can I cut? And even mind grot. What can I cut for those? I have no idea. I don't want to cut creatures. Can I cut a land on the draw? I kind of want to cut... Uh, I can't cut a land. But I'm going to cut one Radiant Fountain. I have another Swamp. Um, and I don't want to cut creatures. Do I cut a Sanctum? I mean, it looked good there, but... It's probably too good to cut. If I were to cut a creature, what would it be? Probably Battlements. I mean, Battlements is going to be my worst creature if they have a ton of removal, even though it did look good there. Uh, Alright, maybe we just do one duress, one mind route. Okay. Alright. Could have dropped the other battlements too, but I want to keep my creature count high. Hmm. Well, got them all that. I guess I didn't have to show them. Uh... I wonder if I cut finishing blow here. I mean, granted, we're far away from Gloom Sower, but we've got Platymere. Actually, Platymere is probably going to die. All right, cut the Gloom Sower. We have another one. Yeah, because I, I feel like the second I jam a Palladium Mirror, it's going to die. That was a good rip, actually. Oh, Freebooter. Do we just jam the Freebooter, or do we go for the Palladium Mirror now? Um... Let's do Palladium there. It's just too much mana usage to not jam here. Oh, okay. That's fine. So we can actually finish and blow the, the ogre. Do they still get to cast that? Yeah, I think they do. Which is kind of crazy. So, let's just... Well, we've got six mana. They can dragon fire. I 
guess we can just go Freebooter plus Blight Fang. Yeah. So get rid of the Eliminate. Unfortunately, this is going to let them Dragon Fire the Freebooter and then Eliminate the Blight Fang. But the good news is they don't have anything for Bane Slayer, which is actually good news. And they don't have the land to do both either. Okay. I would take this trade, yeah. Alright. So, um, we can kill the Ogre to turn off the Furious Rise. Because they're going to get to... You can also just jam a Bane Slayer. They don't have removal right now. They're going to eventually find it. But Bane Slayer is just such a clock. Yeah. I'm fine with this. This turns off their uh, Furious Rise, too. Ended up going 2-1. I'm pretty satisfied. We played against some tough decks. I guess round 3 opponent was actually... We just happened to have a pretty nice deck for their plan. We had a good plan for the removal dot deck. We just had a lot of tools at our disposal, but... Round 2, I mean... Pretty thankful we even got a win against them. Their deck was just insane. <laughs> Glorious Anthem, multiple Seed Strikers, removal pumps, I mean, it had everything. I was like, picture-perfect Selesnya deck that just, like, trounced us. But, uh, considering we were playing Black-White with very little actual life gain synergies, I think it turned out pretty good. I mean, Black-White life gain, zero revitalized. Zero patrician. Um, yeah. All right. Just once again, reminder, folks. We have a guest drafter on the channel in a couple days. I'll keep you posted on that. I hope you're stoked for it. We'll see you soon.